I've come across some really interesting triads. You know, whatever you play on the top three strings, the exact same fingering you can play on the bottom three strings. Um, take this, this chord here. That's the bottom three. And here's the top three. And I'll move it down a couple frets. And the other thing is, you know, with these three note triads, um, it's either going to be a major chord, a minor chord, or a seventh chord. So if you just stay on the bottom three strings and you learn a whole pattern, say, um, June, another sunny honeymoon, another reason, another season for making whoopee. Those are all done on the three strings. Now you can do that exact same pattern, the exact same fingering on the top three. And that's what's kind of fun. You can go. So if you play around with that enough, you'll be able to do songs in any key because your fingering is going to be identical. Now let's just take like a blues pattern where you're going to go like a, from a seventh chord to a major chord to a suspended. A lot of organ players use that. Danny Gatton used to use that. Guitar players use that. It would sound like... Now there's a helicopter flying over Laurel Canyon. <laughs> um, oh, it's gone now. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep going. So you've got this seventh chord, and then a major chord, and it's only on the bottom strings. So I'm going to play this pattern just using the bottom three strings. exact same pattern. Moved it back. Five chord. Four chord. One chord to the five. Now if you want to change that and you want to make this your one chord, exact same fingering, you can go like this. right here. All I did was move it from here over to here. So you're... Watch out easy. Same thing. So it's very, very little movement. You learn one pattern, and then whatever pattern it is, you can switch it to the other strings. Um, I worked out a really nice arrangement of um, Marie, and I can pretty much play it in any key because the fingering, I'm just using these triads. So it'll be like um, Randy Newman song. Da, 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 da. 
work that out just sticking with triads it's either going to be a major chord a minor chord or a seventh chord major chord minor chord seventh chord somewhere um, one other thing with these triads if you just take a major chord like a major triad it happens to be a C major and you move this one form everywhere you can play thousands of songs. Well, let's let's try and play one song good. Of stuff with just major chords you could do um green onions yeah. so that's just this major chord over and over see this gives you a real feel for Laurel Canyon in Los Angeles it's kind of mellow but then you've got the helicopters flying over. But the, the triad's like... All that is is one chord. It's how you move it. You can also go like... to do something like I don't want to lose a good thing now that I found you if I do I would surely but you can move that the triads up you can go I better not a lot a knock on wood I'm playing some four string chords too, but I want to get the point that you can do a lot of stuff like um, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, So I could do that exact same pattern on the top three strings. Do you got it? <laughs> 